Hey. Coming at you from Austin, Texas. Wide screen. I was told to use the wide screen capabilities of the camera, so it's good because you can see more of the Super 8 bed that way. Me and Super 8 go way back. Um, I just finished uh, riding my bike here, rode from Vegas, Las Vegas. Took me four days. Could have done it in three, but who wants to push it? Uh, New Mexico, or uh, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, West Texas, non West Texas, Central Texas. So, yeah, uh, it was a good trip. I drove my bike. I drove a KLR Kawasaki 650. That's kind of like, a, they call it a dual purpose bike. It's kind of like a on off road bike, like a dirt bike that you can ride on the highway, basically. And KLRs are kind of a classic. They're, um, they're kind of like the pickup truck of, of bikes. Um, they've been making them the same since like 86 till 2008 or something. Like they didn't change their design. So everybody knows how they run and there's a zillion of them out there and you can get parts for them and they're pretty sturdy. They just run and run and run. I drive BMWs at home. I got three old BMWs that I ride, but and they're a little bigger than 650. So I'm used to a little bit more power, but it was fun. It was good. It proved itself to be a scrappy little unit. I bought it in Vegas just to bomb around the city on, which I did. And it's cool in that city because you can go like a mile on the out, past the outskirts of the city and just immediately turn off the road and be in the desert, which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I paid thirty one hundred bucks for it last year, and I made a mistake because I should have I should have paid four grand for like a pristine one. Instead, I cheaped out and bought the. $3,100 more used one, and it turned out to be false economy, because I've had it in the shop a couple of times, and I was kind of upset about it, it had kind of bad taste in my mouth for a while, but I've kind of grown to like it, it's my rat bike, we've been through quite a lot together, poker wins, poker losses, relationship hell, all kinds of things on the KLR, and it's Kawasaki green, I don't know why you'd own a Kawasaki if you didn't own the green one, so... Um, some saddlebags, drink holder, extra bungee cords, I was well outfitted, tools from the dollar store, anyway, yeah, it was a good trip, the only thing bad that happened was I bought a little, well, a little gas can, a little red gas can, and strapped it on the top of the luggage on the back, and two days ago, I was in New Mexico, and I stopped for gas, and I looked back there, and the whole thing had fallen to the side, and it had been rubbing against the wheel, the rear tire, and it had rubbed a hole in the gas tank, burned a hole in the gas tank, it was all charred, and the gas had flown out, I don't know if it lit on fire or what, it looked like hell back there, the thing was all melted and it was stuck to the body of the bike, it was bad, so I suspect I was going down the highway at 90 miles an hour with flames coming up behind me, <laughs> I'm kind of glad they didn't know about it, but anyhow, um... Next time, I'll tell you all about my BMWs. I got three of them. One's a 72, and two are mid 90s off road bikes. But uh, I'm here in Austin for a couple months to try and write some hits and uh, hang out with my buddies Ace Carl, Doug Moreland, Matt Skinner, Cody Braun, John Evans. Good bunch of guys. Talk to you later.